Alright, so we're gonna continue with the word, man. We're gonna continue with the word, man. So yeah, you gotta forsake all, man. Some some brothers might have to forsake jobs. You know, understand? Some brothers might have to forsake jobs in certain situations, you know? You know, because you gotta come out here in the highways and byways at least once a week. If you can do it twice, that's cool too. You understand? Okay, because I brothers got jobs and I know some brothers can't make it twice. You know, but you gotta at least come out here once a week, man, and, and, and push this and push this word, man. Cause we here to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. We are here to fish for the elect. Okay, so let's go to Luke, verse five. Luke, verse five, or chapter five. All right, one through eleven. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of Yahweh. He stood by the lake of Genesary Sarek and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he had lifted, left, left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at the word, I will let down the net all right, so in other words, he's been out there all pretty much all day, man. And he haven't had caught one fish, man. You understand? So and verse 6. And when they had, and when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their nets break, and they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. So it began to sink down, man, because it was so much fish. You understand? So much fish. That's the, that's the power and the miracle of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. We, we discussed that earlier in, in, in part one video. You understand? So when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Yahweh Shai knees, saying, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken, and saw, I'm sorry, and saw, and so was also James and John and the son of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Yahusha said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. Man, they forsook all, man. They forsook their jobs. They forsook their jobs, man. They forsook all to follow Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. And that's what happened with me and my family. We forsook all. We left the car in the, um, in, uh, in the airport garage. We gave furniture. We gave everything that we had. We gave it away, man. And we hopped on that plane there, man, and we went to Trinidad, man, and woke up brothers out there. Woke up brothers, sisters, family. We woke, you know, we did our job out there, man. We executed this truth. Because if you don't execute this truth, you're going to be executed, my brother. You understand? You're going to be executed. So follow your calling. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do so you can do what you want to do. You understand? Man, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Let's go to Luke 14. Fourteen. It's 
said, oh, I'm gonna start at, uh, oh man, I'm gonna start at 26. Luke 14, 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life, also he cannot be, a, uh, be my disciple. You know, you can't be a disciple of your or your how white, how shy, man. If you don't hate the wickedness of your 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 people, your father, your mother. Because your father, your mother, they might be Roman Catholic, they might be seven day Venice. That's what it's talking about. Not hate him, hate him as uh like an intense hatred. They just say love that father, love that mother. Or your life will be prolonged on a, on, on earth. So in other words, hate their ways, despise their ways, because your sisters, your brothers, they still eat pork. They still eat catfish. They still eat shrimp. So you hate that you despise their ways, man. So you don't want to follow that. So you forsake all and follow your how why your how was shot. You understand? And whosoever do not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you intend intended to build a tower? Set us not down first and count the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. Let's happily, after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold, it began to mock him. That's right. And that tower was you, by the way. Look it up. You're building yourself up. You're building yourself in this ministry. So they began to mock him. When you fall off, you, you begin to be mocked by all the brothers, sisters. You, yo, wasn't that nigga once to the truth? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he began to be mocked because he didn't count the course. Right? He, he didn't, uh, let me see. So for which of you intended to build a tower sitting now down first? You got to make sure you have enough to build that tower, man. If you run out of money, guess what? The tower is halfway done, and guess what? People are gonna mock you. I'm talking about on a physical sense, but it's really spiritual. You understand? Finish your job. Continue your calling, man. C continue waking up the Lord sheep of the house of Israel, man. That's your job. All right? You gotta come out here and minister and curse these heathens out. All right? So it said, um, It said 30, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sitting not down first and consulted rather he be able with 10,000 to meet him that come against him for 20,000 or else while the other is yet a great way he sent us Abbasad, right? That means like a bastard and desire condition of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsake not all that he has, he cannot be my disciple. All right, so you gotta forsake all. All, man. Some of y'all might forsake your wives. You understand? Forsake your children. Because this right here is everything, man. This right here is everything. Get that real quick, Jeremiah. You've been ordained from the very beginning to go out and proclaim this truth, man, to the brokenhearted, to the captives, to the prisoners. You understand? That's your job. Don't give up. Well, just because you got cast out by a group of men, that mean you're gonna stop pushing it? Nah, man, that don't, you don't, it, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. You continue. You keep pressing on. You keep pressing on, man. You understand? Jeremiah 1, starting at verse 4. The word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And, bef 